Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to be looking at making 3D cubes with three different pictures in Microsoft Office PowerPoint. Now you can see here that I've got this cube. It's not quite a standard cube. It's a little bit of an oblong cube, but I use this from a slide right here. And where I downloaded it from was a template on Microsoft Office Online. So let's go ahead and jump there. I've got it in my little taskbar in Windows 7. And if you go to office.microsoft.com, it'll take you to the standard Microsoft Office site. And then you just click on templates, which is right here. And then in the search field, you'll want to put the word picture effects exactly like that so that it will pull up the correct templates. Once you have them pulled up, you have the top two in your search field. Click on this one save it somewhere where you can find it preferably maybe in my documents and then this animated picture effects and we're gonna go through that just a little bit later to show you what some of the new animated effects there are in PowerPoint so let's go back to PowerPoint now I'm going to create a new slide from another file so let me go ahead and click on that how you get there is when we create a new PowerPoint presentation we can go new slide and then at the very bottom there is reuse slides so let's go ahead and click on that and what that does is it pulls up another panel on the right hand side the reason I asked you to save it in a place that you knew is because we're gonna browse for that template you would just click on the browse and we're gonna go to browse file and I put this in my documents over here and it is the one that says static picture effects for PowerPoint slides. Just click on that and you open it and what happens it gives you a preview of all the different slides that are available. There are 17 of them and this is an instruction on the very first one. But the one that we want to do is we want to use this cube. So I'm gonna click on this and what it does is it pulls in that slide from the other PowerPoint presentation. That way you don't ever ruin this PowerPoint presentation. You just reuse these slides. Now the easiest way to do this is to get square pictures, but if you don't have square pictures, you can still do this effect. I'm gonna click on this, and using the right click, and right click always brings up a menu. I'm gonna do the right click, and we're going to change the picture. Now, I don't have any square pictures, so I'm just gonna pick one of these cityscapes. I just love these cityscapes and then I'm gonna select insert and you can see that it does this number right here problem is is it's not square if we wanna make this square you can see that the picture tools has been highlighted at the top and I'm gonna click on format and over on the right hand side we can crop this picture into a square picture so I'm gonna click on that it's gonna give us the standard 2D view, view of this I can make this a little bit bigger that's kinda of weird there we go make that a little bit bigger and I can bring this in and make it square and when I'm happy with that I just click on the background and you can see it's a little more square now how I said that you have to tweak with this a little bit is you have to use the arrow keys to kinda of line that up and you can see right now that it doesn't fit very well so I did a pretty poor job cropping it but just to make this video not too lengthy I'm just gonna click on the next one right click it again brings up a menu change picture and I'll just pick one of these HD pictures hit insert and then once again I could go to my crop and I could crop this kind of into a square oops once again it is doing that weird thing and when I'm happy I just click on that move it over a little bit and then resize it and then use the up and left arrow keys until I'm kinda happy now you can see that it didn't do a real good job the shadow doesn't work real well so I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger there we go we're getting it a little bit nicer here might go in here and change this one just a little bit just kinda tweak it alright now last but not least we click the right the left click the left picture actually change picture and we are using the right right click key again they're on the mouse I'm gonna hit insert and there we go we can make this one a little bit bigger move it some 
Now, like I said, this is going to take some tweaking. Make this a little bit bigger. So we just tweak that in here. Okay, so we're not doing too bad. It could be just a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. There we go. And then we're going to go over to our crop key once again. I'm going to pull this one in just a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Move it just a little bit. Move that just a little bit with the arrow keys. And as you can see, it kind of makes this cube here. I can make this a little bit smaller and kind of tweak that. That is the easiest way to make the cube. That is to go over, create a new slide, use reuse slides, and then go and find your template that you downloaded from the Microsoft site and pick slide number nine and that will give you the 3D cube. Now I just want to take you on a quick journey on what the other one looks like. Let's go ahead, I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to open and I'll show you the animated ones really quick. Here are animated picture effects for PowerPoint. That was one of the other ones when you put the word picture effects in the templates on office.microsoft.com. You can see that there are some pretty cool things that are available for templates. Now I'm going to hit my F5 key. It's going to take us into the animated version of this and you can see that there's some kind of cool looking effects. This is going from black and white to color and then I'm going to speed through this a little bit. It zooms in with the little um, shadows in the background there. Kind of does the um, Apple-like keynote type thing there. I'm just going to kind of keep going through there. Changes the picture within the picture frame. That's kind of a cool looking effect there. Maybe a little 3D look there. And then you got the little twinkling starlights there. And then you've got the cube that changes the, the pictures inside the cube. And you got this weird looking transition there, which is kind of cool. And then there we go, it just zooms up and then another picture swaps out with that. Now, not quite as easy as with Keynote, but you can do some pretty cool things. And all you have to do on that one as well is go in, create a new slide, and then whatever effect that you want, you would go in here, you would use the reuse slides, pull up this pane over here, and then pull in those particular slides. As you can see, a lot of these animations are multiple slides, so you would have to go in there and actually pick multiple slides. But hope that helped. There are some animated picture effects and some static picture effects. I'll go back to the original static picture effects here on the 3D cube. Hope you have fun with your Microsoft Office. Don't forget to go down and download the 2010 beta.